from the bottom of our hearts. We want to thank you for showing up today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Give it up to yourselves for showing up one more time. Today marks day 173 of the genocide in Gaza. Yes, you heard that right. You heard it correctly. For everyone passing by right now and listening, it has been 173 days of the genocide in Gaza. We've been protesting on these streets and across the country and across the globe for the past 24 weeks. And guess what? We will go for another 24 weeks as long as the genocide in Gaza still exists. March 30th, 30th marks Land Day for Palestinians. And this year, Land Day is different. Today, let us honor the thousands of innocent Palestinians that have been murdered. Murdered in cold blood by the Zionist regime for the past six months. However, this regime is not only causing destruction to people's lives, it is also destroying their land as well. This land day, this land day, Gaza, is uninhibitable. The Israeli Zionist entity have destroyed almost every inch of the city with no place safe on this land. This land day we honor indigenous resilience everywhere around the world. From Turtle Island to Palestine, occupation is a crime. From Turtle Island to Palestine, occupation is a crime. Toronto, I want to hear your voices loud today. I can't hear you. Are you ready to shake the city for the last time? I can't hear you. Are you ready to shake the ground for the last time? Palestinian liberation continues, continues until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. Today we're here to make our demands crystal clear. To make our demands crystal clear for this shameful government, the so-called the Canadian government. Big shame on you. I want to leave you with a quote by author Yusuf Jamal, which he wrote in 2021. And I quote, It is the land that has always connected Palestinians with the notion of home. Not walls, not houses, not debris or bricks. And for this reason, demolishing Palestinian houses may make Palestinians homeless, but they will never, they will never be homeless or landless because our home is our land. Our land. Toronto, I want to hear you loud and 
clear. From the river to the sea. Strike and took the streets to protest against the Zionist entity taking more land. In the month leading up to this day, the Israeli government issued an order to seize and steal over 21,000 tons of Palestinian land. Our land! For yeah. Palestinian farmers and landowners in northern Palestine. Yeah. On March 20th, 1976, when Palestinians started protesting against the theft of their land, the Israeli occupation responded with murdering six Palestinians. Their names are Khaira Ahmad Yassir, Khadija Qasim Shawahni, Raja Hussein Abu Raya, Khadir, Ab Khadir Eid Mahmoud Khalayli, Mohsen Hassan Sayyid Tahar, Rafat Ali Zoudi. We remember every martyr. We remember their name to honor them, to honor what they died for. That day is a day for us to keep their memories alive, to keep what they died for alive, which is a free Palestine. We are the Palestinians. We are proud people. We are resilient people. But we are also simple people. We are connected to our land the same way our grandparents and great grandparents were connected to this land. to every tree, every olive tree, and every orange tree, every tree and every rock. And we're connected to every village and every city. <laughs> it is our land, and we will get it back. Who's land? Our land. Who's land? Our land. Who's land? Our land. This is not up for debate. This is not up for negotiation. Our land is everything for us. Palestine is everything for us. We will bring this occupation down. We will remove every checkpoint. We will bring the apartheid wall down. We will free all of our prisoners. Over 40,000 Palestinian prisoners. We will free them all, every one of them. We will pray in the court. We will pray in Bethlehem. We will take our land back and we will free Palestine. We will do that again, starting with Gaza. For over 75 years, the Israeli state like every colonial settler state, tries to isolate people into specific, specific geographic areas. It's easier for them to control us. It's easier for them to take more land this way. But they don't know that we're connected. We're supposed with more than that. And this is happening. That the dividing and isolating of indigenous communities are happening in all of Palestine. And especially in Gaza right now, where they disconnected the south and the north. Shem! Shem! In Gaza, our women are being raped. Our children are being tortured. Our people are being starved. And the only way for us to end this is to keep mobilizing. Do we keep organizing and standing up for taking responsibility? <laughs> we will fight this occupation and the all its allies, the US, Canada, all the Western, all the various countries are supporting the state. There is only one solution. There is only one solution. Anti Fada Revolution. Anti Fada Revolution. There is only one solution. Revolution. Revolution. Genocide and occupation 
recognize other struggles and stand with our comrades and brothers and sisters on Turtle Island, in Haiti, in Sudan, Congo, Kashmir, and the whole Muslim people of this world. We should take every opportunity we can to be united against these colonial powers. The people united! We have Nick Estes from the Red Nation join us. I greet all of you, my relatives, with an open heart and a handshake. This is the Treaty of the One Dish Territory. This is indigenous land. This fight begins here. that we understand that settler colonialism in Palestine would not be possible without the dispossession of indigenous people here and the attempted conquest of native nations here. But we know because there is resistance in Gaza, because there is resistance in Palestine, because there is resistance here in Toto Island, that freedom is always a stone throw away. It's always just over that hill. It's always next to the shore, next to our sacred mountains, across grasslands, olive groves. They cannot destroy us. This settler colonial nation, much like the United States, thinks that they have reduced indigenous people to a non-threatening status, that they can just do land acknowledgments and say, hey, we stole this land. Thank you. Move on. What we see here today, that stolen land in Palestine is as morally bankrupt as stolen land here in Toronto. And that we are people of peace, justice, and prayer, first and foremost. There's a man, his name is Larry Kasus. He's Diné. He died fighting for indigenous liberation in 1973 during the Wounded Knee occupation. He kidnapped the mayor of Gallup, a notorious border town that profited off the death of Navajo people. He went to all the formal channels. He petitioned the government. He organized nonviolently. He asked the colonizer to colonize less violently. But they continued to kill. They continued to plunder. They continued to profit from indigenous death. And so he was martyred because he said that you cannot be a human being and let another person suffer. Look around you, they, they are using identity politics to divide us. They are calling us anti-Semitic. They are calling us terrorists. The United States Declaration of in Independence, so-called independence, calls us merciless Indian savages. We know how they feel. But you do not have to be indigenous. You do not have to be Palestinian, you do not have to be a Jewish person to understand this issue. You need to be one thing, and that's what they are denying, and that's a human being. <laughs> genocide Justin, Genocide Joe, we know that there is justice awaiting you on the other side of this. We know we have the receipts that generations from now, our children will look and see what we did in the face of genocide. And they will look at these criminals and see what they did in the face of genocide. Yeah.
We need more than just an arms embargo. We need to bring these people to the world court. We need to break the spell of impunity that surrounds settler nations. So they can continue to colonize and genocide. And I want you to think about that today when you go home, that this fight begins here. This isn't just a fight over there. We know that Palestine is a small territory when compared to some of our indigenous territories. I come from a land where there's millions of acres of territories, beautiful mountains, rivers, seas. But we know that small territory of Palestine is bleeding. It's a small territory, but it has a big heart. It has united us, it has brought us here together. And that means all Palestinians. Not only our solidarity, we owe them our love, we owe them our empathy, we owe them our lives. If we would not be here today, I did not come to those markers. I want to turn it over to my, my, my uncle over here. He's going to sing us a song of encouragement.
when we are here protesting against the genocide of our people. Shame on you! Our tax dollars are not here for your horses, are not here for the SWAT team. We are here to protest against the deaths that Canada is complicit for, the families, the friends that we have in Vesta, that you are complicit in killing and bombing every single day for the past seven months. Shame! Shame, shame, TPS! Shame, and you have the nerve to smile. Shame on you, you pathetic soul. Shame, shame, TPS. Our messaging distract us for the reason attention for just a few minutes so I can speak about Land Day. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Our land is glory and beauty and its hills grace and majesty our land is love and relief our land is blessed honored and victorious Palestine our land is life itself from its sandy beaches to its strawberry fields to its olive trees to its citrus groves and deep blue sea we honor our ancestors that tended our land. We honor our freedom fighters that gave their life to our land. We honor and remain committed to our land. Our land has seen 75 years of occupation, brutality, and inhumanity. On our land, our olive trees are set ablaze. On our land, our graves are unearthed. On our land, our children are murdered. On our land, our men are executed. On our land, our women are raped. On our land. On our land, citizens that peacefully protest the theft of their lands are shot point blank. On our land, Hundreds, hundreds of illegal Israeli settlements encroach our blessed soil. The land where hundreds of thousands walked tens of kilometers from their hometown in 1948 to Gaza on foot during the Nakba. The land where over a million are currently displaced in Rafah, in Gaza, and, in, and enduring a forced and weaponized starvation and famine by the brutal Zionist entity. Shame. Today, today, March 30th, 2024, is the 48th anniversary of Land Day, where in 1976, six Palestinians were shot dead while protesting peacefully against the theft of their own land. 48 years later, 48 years later, Palestinians are still denied dignity and justice. 75, 75 years later and 176 days into the ongoing genocide in Gaza and Palestinians are still being massacred while more and more of our land is being stolen and sold in real estate events all over North America as illegal settlements. Today, today is also the sixth anniversary of the Great March of Return in 2018, where thousands of Palestinians in Gaza peacefully protested and marched along the separation fence between Gaza and stolen Palestinian land that is so-called Israel. Every Friday for 18 months, demanding to return to their homelands, which they were ethnically cleansed from. 230 Palestinians were murdered and thousands injured. Today, we honor the brave Palestinians in Gaza and all of occupied Palestine that fight with their entire being to protect our land, that fight with their entire heart 
to protect our land, that fight with their entire soul to protect our land. We honor all our martyrs that gave their life for our land. We stand with the resistance that makes us proud in our land and for our people. And on this land day, we vow, we vow to stand taller, we vow to shout louder, we vow to fight harder for Palestine and for Gaza. Our spirits, like the spirits unwavering, our resolve unbreakable, our ancestors' roots grow deep within this land, and like the olive trees grow deep within this land, they outlive the occupation. Our roots are resilient, and they are intertwined deep in our soils on a land that gives and a land that continues to sacrifice. <laughs> Guys, please, if you're on the scaffolding, get down. I'm asking nicely. Can someone tell them that's on the scaffolding to just come down? Hollis, they're coming down, they're coming down. Okay, let me finish, let me finish. <laughs> you guys are my momentum. Like our unshakable land, we will continue to fight and our right to life will never go away. We will continue to resist the cruel oppression until the end of the genocide and until the dawn of liberation breaks over Palestine from the river to the sea. <laughs> And just so everybody knows, this is not just about a ceasefire. Yes, we are looking for a permanent ceasefire, but that is not the goal. The goal, the goal is liberation. The goal has always been liberation. The liberation of our people, the liberation of our land. The right, the right of return for all of the Palestinian people that were expelled and exiled. And we will not stop until that right of return is granted one day, inshallah. Until one day, we can all go together to Al-Aqsa Mosque and pray together one day, inshallah. Oh Allah, Palestine, with God, Sa'ara be it.
The World Cup guys, please come forward and do some food, please. Free, free, 